welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Cooking Simulator. For those of you who have missed our previous live streams, you know full well we absolutely love messing around in Cooking Simulator and getting absolutely nowhere. And today is no different, where we are going to jump into the brand new DLC just come out for the game for Sushi. Thank you very much to the devs for passing a key across. However, this video is going to differ from what our usual first look would look like, as I did hit a few road bumps that have kind of changed my mind and my feeling on this download pack from where I first started and where I first recorded. However, as I'm not here to waste your time, I'm going to give you my thoughts up front right at the start of the video and then we'll go into a little bit more why that is. So starting off with the good points, good campaign mode, great choice of menu items, good addicting gameplay, great free mode, much like with the cookies and cakes DLC. The bad points, half the menu doesn't work, a lot of the best to recipes and the recipes I was looking forward to don't work and unfortunately that does create an issue with the campaign mode where you cannot progress any further forwards so for those too long didn't watch type viewers there you go that's what's wrong with it if you found value in that please hit the like button subscribe and i will see you next time for those of you that are sticking around however let's delve on a little bit into it so firstly in the background i am just showing you footage of one of the playthroughs that i recorded i spent roughly about 10 hours so far in this dlc which doesn't sound very long but i had to stop because of the errors and because of the bugs which we'll come on to in a second to start off on a positive note though i will say that the campaign mode that comes with this DLC is probably one of my favorites. It combines the mechanics from the Cakes and Cookies DLC where you can make what you want and put it up for sale but rather than having to end the day and see how it was received you can instead just pop a couple of plates of sushi up on your sushi bar and see what passing customers think of it and whether they buy it. Really enjoy that type of gameplay, really enjoy that ability to just go off and make what I want and because the customers coming by are really only looking for certain ingredients you you can give that ingredient to them in whatever manner you would like to do which means you don't have to make one specific dish just to satisfy their need. Outside of that there's also the leveling up system in the campaign which allows you to unlock different fishmongers and that in turn gives you access to different types of ingredients. There's different ways of cutting, chopping and preparing the fish and each way can go wrong and will affect the final outcome. So all of that is really nice and addictive. It draws you in. I really want to play more. It kind of keeps you going as you level up and as you get more things to use. Now all of that is great however where it starts to fall apart is when you get a couple of hours into the campaign and you unlock the ability to make tempura shrimp. Now I love tempura, I hate sushi, I'm British which means I've probably only ever had really bad sushi so I generally don't touch sushi but I absolutely love tempura. It doesn't matter what it's on, you know, stick something in a batter, fry it, I'm there. So I thought great we'll, we'll make it and then I start making it and it needs ice cubes now this is about level three you don't get ice cubes till like level 10 it's like oh well that's a bit of a pain but because it's in campaign mode people coming up to my sushi stall are asking for this recipe because i've unlocked it it will then make the customers passing by want it so i'm now stuck with two customers at my stall that i can't make the recipe for and because it's one of the new unlock they tend to or at least seem to want it more than they want my older stuff so i'm stuck where i now can't level up or if i do i have to wait until I get a customer that doesn't want one of these recipes I can't make before I can level up to actually then be able to make the batter. Now this was fairly early on in the release and they have now patched out so that that particular recipe that you get about an hour or two into the game does not require something that you won't get for another four or five hours but you then hit another issue and an even bigger issue is the fact that there are three different types of batter you can only make one with the recipe that you have in the app but the recipe that they give you is for the wrong batter so it doesn't matter what you make any recipe you follow creates the wrong outcome and after you've done all the preparation you've dipped your prawns in the in the batter you've floured them you've thrown them in the deep fat fryer they then come out and they're not even classed as battered they just still seen as shrimp at that point i kind of had to down tools i double checked this in sandbox i then stopped recording i went away i did a bit of research i checked out the discord for the game and yep sure enough it's a well-known bug and it's a bug that is reproduced but doesn't always affect but it doesn't affect everybody at the same time so I get it it's a challenging bug 
but it's been there since before release. It was notified on the Discord from early testers and it's been there since before release. It kind of locks off a quarter of the menu because it doesn't matter what uh, fish, whether it's uh, a shrimp, whether it's a squid or an octopus or, or just fish, you, anything you make a tempura batter for, the batter is going to be wrong and it will not be seen as a tempura. It will just be seen as raw fish. Now, because this was going to be a video review and I wanted to keep it positive, I thought, no worries, we'll skip past that and we'll go on to frying some fish instead. So there's a section of the recipe book that where you can make fried little fish fillets that go on top of some rice. So I thought, great, let's, uh, let's do that. So cut up my fish, spent my time getting it right, making it look good, fried it up in the pan and popped it on top of the rice and then hit another issue. Half the time, it doesn't see the fish as actually fried. So it will go on, it will create a raw version of what you're trying to make that which is fine because that's an actual item that you can make it just has the wrong name on it now even though it has the right texture but then the other side of that is that some of these fish options do not have a raw variant and where there isn't a raw option that just simply cannot be put on top of the rice so you now have this container of fried ingredient that you just can't use and i hit this with the boiled shrimp can't put the raw ones on the rice but you can't cook them and put them on either so i ended up with a whole container of boiled shrimp that i just couldn't use and again a lot of this is easily fixed you can avoid it and certainly if you're playing sandbox mode it's it's a downside but it's not a game breaker but in the campaign mode where they physically want the cooked item and the cooked item is what they're looking for and you cannot make it and it stops you advancing, it stops you playing, it becomes a problem. Now these are all software bugs, they're all easily fixed and I guess the important takeaway from it all is that the actual core gameplay is really good, one of the better ones. However, for a game this late in development, this really should not have been sent out with these bugs and I feel like even though I am a very small channel, making them aware, making you aware and putting this company on blast for it is important because this shouldn't be an issue, it shouldn't be this hard to play the campaign mode of the entire concept of the DLC that you are giving us. Everything else I love. The scenery I love. The uh, environmental noise I love. Although there was one guy that just would not stop beeping his horn all the time. But they fixed that. However, there's just so many issues with these bugs and the fact that half the menu now is completely unable to be made. It's there. I can make it. It looks correct the the item looks the right color but the fact that it means nothing to the game loses all of the specialness out of being able to make it and those are the things you want to make because they're not just cutting fish they're actually doing cooking they're actually cooking through multiple steps multiple stages to get to the end to find that it doesn't work is infuriating oh and one final little negative the music in this download pack is great i love it i had the radio on all the way through the recording almost every single track is copyrighted come on come on <laughs> just I, I i'd love to put the music in but i can't so instead we're having some free music from youtube because they're not going to copyright strike me anyway youtube are problems those <laughs> but if you want my honest takeaway as i said at the start great great campaign as a as a mechanic great gameplay as a mechanic great scenery great menu options a lot of things you can make and the freedom to make what you want love it all fix the bugs it's going to be one of my favorite DLCs for Cooking Simulator and I hate sushi but right now should you go out and buy it I'd wait I'd wait and I would see what the patch notes say when they confirm they have fixed these recipes buy it it's worth it if you enjoy Cooking Simulator you will enjoy this DLC only once they are patched once this does get patched I will pop a comment in the comment section down below letting you all know that this video is null and void and you need to go out and buy it but for now I'd hold off if you found some value in today's video, please click the like button. It really helps the channel grow. If you enjoy simulators, tycoons, and all things creative, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.